I'm James Warsham, an accomplished designer, carpenter, and artist based out of Nashville, Tennessee. I've designed installations all across the country for the last 15 years. Now I'm here to teach all of that to you. This is Blank Wall Overhaul. Oh, hey, sorry, you uh, caught me right in the middle of breakfast. But I hear it's the most important meal of the day, so here I am. Give me a couple different versions of that. And don't say here I am. Hashtag micromanager. And from what I hear, it's the most important meal of the day. You know what? This gives me an idea. Actually, who am I kidding? I had this idea before the film crew even showed up. Throughout the years, I've done a lot of installations using really common materials done en masse. And I'm talking lots of these items. So I'm today gonna show you how to make one of these installations for your own home. And in this case, we're gonna do the kitchen or your dining room. You're gonna swoon for spoons as they're hung on your wall. Give me one more. Try to be like you and I are talking. You want me to be rude to the camera? <laughs> Now, I know what you're thinking, why spoons? It's no secret that I kind of have an obsession with these things. I think the fact that they're so common, they're nice, bright, and shiny, and you can get a lot of them really quickly and really cheap, and you can cover a wall with them beautifully. This is a really fun, easy, and cheap project, and I mean cheap. Our spoons are gonna cost us about 50 bucks today, but really, depending on what you want to hang on your wall, your cost may fluctuate. So, let's get started. Now, the hardest part about this whole process is finding your spoons. But the best thing about this project is that the more piecemeal the spoons are, the better the project's gonna be. The materials you need for this project are pretty simple. You'll need a drill, a drill bit, nails, leather gloves, a piece of scrap wood, of course, your spoons. First things first, you gather your spoons. And you're in luck because I already have about 100 of them. We're gonna be using our drill, as well as our drill bit, to drill through the handles. This one's called a titanium bit, and it's designed specifically for metal. The last thing that we want is for the bit to catch on the metal of the spoon and to spin it around. So we're gonna use gloves. Hands are protected. Before you actually start drilling, you wanna make sure that the surface you're drilling on top of is not only stable, but it's also not your grandmother's antique dining table. The bit's gonna go right through the spoon and chomp right into whatever you're drilling into. So for us, we're gonna use a scrap piece of wood. Spare two by four is perfect. You wanna start the bit off a little bit slowly, so it bites into the metal of the spoon. And goes right through. Okay, so that's one down. We have about, what, 100 to go? When you're drilling your spoons, you wanna make sure that you're actually drilling through the face of the spoon and not through the back. The reason why is that if you have any sort of burrs that come up because of the drill bit, they'll actually be sticking out through the back of the spoon and not onto the front. So as you'll see, it's nice and smooth on the front, but there's actually some burrs that are sticking out on the back. Burrs. <laughs> it's a cold spoon. All of our spoons have been drilled now, and we're ready for our last step. Now this one's technically optional, but I feel like for this space, it's gonna add a lot of oomph. So we wanted to actually add some colors to an eighth of our spoons, just for a few pops of color throughout the space. You'll use your spoons, a few paint color options, some twists of rebar wire, and a handy place to hang them. Also realize that I'm still wearing gloves and I don't need these anymore. Start over there, from the top. We'll take our piece of rebar and we'll just make this into a really simple basic hook, like so. From here, hang that right on your hanger. Next, you're ready to dip your spoon. We're gonna start with this peach color because it's kind of my favorite and then you're ready to dip. Get a good coat of paint on there. You wanna make sure that whatever surface your hanger is hanging over is something that you can throw away afterwards because this is gonna make a mess. One done, let's see what the other colors look like, right? Our spoons are painted and I think they look great. I think they're gonna give that space a lot of pop. As we all know, I'm the king of pop. I'm at Village Real Estate, a local business here in Nashville, Tennessee. We're currently in their office kitchen, and I know it's a little underwhelming, but don't worry, we're actually here today cooking up some good design. So this part of the project only has two steps, and they're real simple. 
All you have to do is just use your painter's tape to mark off the composition on your wall, and then start nailing all your spoons. Marking off our composition is real easy. We're gonna start by just doing a mark at the top, at the bottom, the sides of our composition, and then we'll kind of just gently round it out. Once you're happy with how your composition looks, you're actually ready to start filling it in. And the installation method is real easy. Just put your spoon against the wall, put your nail through it, tap it into place, and you're all set. So let's try it. So we are gonna start right in the middle of our wall. And you're done. Oh wait, just kidding, we have a few more spoons. You'll notice that I'm not actually doing much planning and figuring out where my spoons are gonna go. Instead, I'm just sort of laying them up on the wall. And that's the best thing about organic compositions is that you can really work around the space as it evolves. You wanna make sure that your spoons feel roughly evenly spaced. But honestly though, you have a lot of flexibility here and it's really hard to screw it up. Does everyone know what sound that is? Anyone? No. No? No, what sound? Wait. That's maker's break. Come on. It's time we're actually gonna sit down and talk about something else other than the work. Oh, okay, let's talk about this maker's break. All right, welcome to maker's break, where you and I get to know each other. Welcome to Maker's Break, where you and I get to know each other just a little bit better. That was terrible. Nashville was really interesting. I came here from New York, and I didn't think it would have such an impact on my own personal aesthetic. Most people associate it with rustic barn wood and cowboy boots, but Nashville is so much more. It has this really clean, sharp, contemporary side, but still keeps and maintains that warmth from all the rustic elements that it's really known for. It's actually this beautiful place of culture, sophistication, and so many things to do. It is home and it always will be. That's a little bit about me, as well as Nashville. That's Maker's Break, let's get back to work. Oh, we're down to our last spoon. Perfect spot for it right here. Okay, so let's peel off our painter's tape, see what it looks like. Oh guys, it looks really, really good. All right, let's go ahead, let's dress the space back up again, and I'll show you what it finally looks like. Let's do this. Well, here it is, our finished kitchen and our beautiful spoon wall installation. The composition itself is amazing because you can fluctuate it to whatever your space needs. We went with more of the uh, organic composition for this space just to kind of help soften it up a little bit. While spoons seem great for a kitchen, really you can take this idea and run with it and apply it to any room in your house. Mounting anything that kind of feels appropriate to the space onto the walls is a really cool way to show off a really quirky selection. I think it came out great, and this space now feels less like an office and more like a home. Now that I've finished my wall, we want to see yours. Use hashtag blank wall overhaul and show us what you got. Now, uh, let's put this kitchen to use. All right, who's cooking? No one? Okay, I'll just hang out.